Hello. Strings in Python are sequences of characters, and they are one of the fundamental data types in the language. They are used to represent and manipulate textual data. Let's have a concise overview of Python strings and comments. Welcome to Data Science Cheat Sheets channel, transforming lines into limitless creations. Whether you are manipulating text, processing data, or creating dynamic output, Understanding how to work with strings is essential for effective Python programming. A string in Python is created by enclosing a sequence of characters within a single quote, a double quote, or a triple quote. Strings in Python are immutable, meaning their values cannot be changed once they are created. However, you can perform various operations on strings. Concatenation. Strings can be combined using the addition operator. The result would be the phrase, hello world, repetition. You can repeat a string using the multiplication operator. The outcome of this operation would be the word Python displayed three times, indexing and slicing. Strings can be accessed using indices, and you can extract substrings using slicing. Important! Python works with zero-based indexing, meaning that the first item to be in the position zero, not position one. Please remain engaged for additional details and insights about string methods and formatting, as well as comments. If you have enjoyed what you have seen so far, please consider subscribing to our channel. String methods. Method len returns the length of a string. Method strip removes leading and trailing white spaces. Method replace replaces a specified substring with another. String methods. Method lower and upper converts a string to lowercase and uppercase accordingly. Methods find and count finds the index of a substring and counts its occurrences. Method split and join splits a string into a list of substrings and joins a list of strings into one. String formatting. String formatting allows you to create dynamic strings by incorporating variables or expressions. The format method in Python provides a versatile and powerful way to perform string formatting. The basic syntax of this method involves using curly braces as placeholders within a string. These placeholders are replaced with the specified values passed to the method. The format method allows accessing elements in lists or dictionaries directly by using indexing or keys within the placeholders. Format specifiers can be included within the curly braces to control the formatting of the inserted values. These specifiers provide options for controlling the width, precision, alignment, and type of the output. With the introduction of f-strings in Python 3.6, there is an alternative, more concise syntax for string formatting that offers similar functionality to the format method. F-strings are generally preferred for their simplicity and readability. Understanding these features and nuances of strings in Python is essential for effective text processing and manipulation. Strings play a central role in various applications, including web development, data processing, and scripting. Python's versatile string handling capabilities make it a popular choice for a wide range of programming tasks Comments in Python serve as an integral aspect of the programming landscape, offering developers a means to document, explain, and clarify code. Comments act as a communication channel between the programmer and those who may read or collaborate on the code. Python, known for its readability and simplicity, benefits further from well-placed comments. Clear and concise comments can elucidate complex sections making the code more accessible to both experienced and novice developers. Python supports single-line comments, denoted by the hash symbol, extending from the symbol to the end of the line. Multi-line comments, while not a formal language feature, are often implemented using triple-quoted strings. Effective use of comments involves striking a balance, 
comments should focus on explaining the why rather than the how, as the latter is ideally expressed through clear and self-explanatory code. In conclusion, comments in Python are not just annotations. They are a means of fostering collaboration, understanding, and maintainability in code. When used judiciously, comments become a guiding light, illuminating the intricacies of code and facilitating a smoother development process. All the code lines featured in this video are available in the Jupyter Notebook in the description. Thanks for being a part of our journey today. If you enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you not only show your support for the channel, but also ensure that you never miss out on the exciting content we have in store.